What's up, everybody? I'm Matt McIntyre. And I'm Matt Duncan. And here are your top 10 plays from round two of Brackets for Good 2017. Coming in at number 10 out east in Hartford, we have the Mental Health Connecticut, featuring their mascot, Max, who's got mad ups getting their supporters in the game. At number nine, we're down in the Sunshine State for the R Stars Project, who had these dance moves as they continue to dance through Philanthropy's Big Dance in Brackets for Good. Coming in at number eight in Louisville, our neighbors to the south, we have the Louisville Parks Foundation with an awesome animation talking not only about how to get involved in the tournament, but also about where the funds are going to go to have an impact for their organization. At number seven, we're in Cincinnati for Adorable an organization helping pit bulls find new homes, and they had this Pints for Pits event to help raise some proceeds in brackets for good and have a few beers. Coming in at number six, we're spanning the nation in the U.S. tournament with Friends of Children. They had a fantastic message with a little bit of inspiration from a certain 70s basketball movie and some fantastic hair. Great work. Great hair. So what is Brackets for Good? Picture March Madness, but for nonprofits. At number five, we're in Mountain Country, Denver, Colorado, where Demi's Animal Rescue shows this amazing sign of sportsmanship to their competitor in round two. We also wanted to give a giant thank you and congratulations to uh, um, the Otero Alumni Association. Coming in at number four, Nellie used to say you can find May in St. Louis. We've got Mission STL coming strong with a series called How to Lou, and this is all about some sweet dance moves. At number three, we're back down in the Sunshine State for our second profiled organization in Miami, this top 10. Casa Valentina showed off how they prepare for the tournament with this amazing video. Coming in at number two, it's Indianapolis, our home court, and the Indiana Sports Corporation, who's holding an internal contest that if they raise $7,000 in the round, we might see a belly flop from their executive director. And number one, the Charleston Animal Society, who utilized every single digital asset we provided from the Donate Now widget, they transformed their homepage, and they made this pop-up message all to help anyone visiting their site be able to easily participate in Brackets for Good. Great job, Charleston Animal Society. That's it for this week's top 10 plays in Brackets for Good. Make sure you get out there and promote your participation in the tournament because you could be featured in next week's top 10 plays.